Berta Montagnini here, and in today's video, I have something exciting to show to you. I know I haven't been active for a year. Um, I know some of you have missed me editing, some of you don't, and that's okay. Uh, I promised last year that I would have my actions panel ready for purchase, and I lied. It was not ready. It's almost ready. With that said, I created a lot more actions uh, to include in my panel, including this one in particular today that I'm gonna show you, which is called Skin Fix. It creates like a perfect skin, kinda, um, which is not a replacement for dodge and burn and for frequency separation and for more peculiar, more meticulous, meticulous work, but it is a very good tool to do like something very quick and acceptable and it looks pretty good. So I have been using this like with all my editing work at some in some sort of level. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you how the tool works and if you like, let me know and I may include this in my actions that are coming at some time soon, hopefully within the next month or so. I'm not gonna make any promises because I'm known for not keeping them, um, you know, when it comes to creating actions. My life has been like a bit of a mess recently. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. This is for another video. So I'm going to be editing this image now using my panel. All right, it, you can edit this image in five minutes. I just recorded this video before and I didn't like how I sounded. So I'm making a video again because it's 1.35 a.m. here. Anyway, so I'm gonna start the video right now. I'm gonna create, uh, actually, I'm gonna just click here on this Skin Fix 2, which is the one I've been working on, and I'm gonna just run the action, and I should end up with a master layer like this, which is called Perfect Skin. This layer one is just like an empty background layer, just a duplication of that, so, in case I messed up, I still have like a, you know, a virgin copy. So here I'm gonna select the mask layer and I'm gonna select my brush and I'm gonna select my soft round brush and I'm going to I'm gonna make sure my opacity, uh, my flow is set to 10% and my opacity is set to 100. Now I'm gonna zoom in close to her skin and I'm gonna edit her skin. Oh, make sure the brush is set to white otherwise nothing happens. So here, I'm editing her skin. It's gonna take a minute or even maybe maybe more than a minute, maybe a minute, maybe less than a minute. I don't know, but I know this tool is pretty cool. So this is a great addition to my workflow because it makes me edit in my images pretty fast and to a very good level. Some images, of course, require uh, more intense work, but most of the time, this tool here is sufficient, it's enough, more than enough. So here I'm just editing her skin, you know, around, don't forget her body, that's all about it. Here, all over, I think it's all done. So if you see the before and after, the image is already edited. Now I'm gonna create an empty layer, gonna get my spot healing brush here. I'm gonna remove this hair on her chin. Hopefully it's removed perfectly. Now there's some flyaways here on her forehead. You know, why not? Let's just, we have time. It's gonna take like five minutes or so to edit this entire image. And let me see. Okay, so now that this is done, I'm going to use my frequency separation just because I have to edit something right here under her eye because the skin color is, uh, there's some smudge from the makeup. I'm gonna set my brush and opacity flow to 30%. I'm gonna select the skin right here. I'm just gonna paint over. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, it's a little bit brown, like muddy. It's from her makeup, it smudged a bit. Anyway, let me zoom out. Let's just do a, like a very quick freaking separation like this, just to even out the tones, the makeup a bit more. All right, I think that I'm happy with this. This is what it, we worked on right now. Just inverted the laser so you guys could see. Now I'm gonna 
merge the freaking separation layer gonna merge all these together so you can see here the before and after and now I'm gonna run the last one the last part well not last the one before last which is mattify and gray grain and I will run then here my what's it called CG CT1 which is my uh, color toning I really like this color toning I've been using quite a lot it's my signature color toning pretty much and that's it the image is done look at this it took like absolutely no effort the image is done like before and after less than five minutes it's amazing I love it if you guys like it let me know in the comments below if you'd like to purchase this action if you have any questions just bombard me with them I look forward to speaking with you guys soon and creating more videos for you as well enjoy the rest of your day please subscribe share with everybody so people get to know me all right bye bye